See that field back there? It's a good looking field. I didn't grow up in the country. In fact, I grew up where there's there was snow most of the year. So I've never run through a field like that. And seeing something like this makes me want to run through it. But my initial decision is I'm not going to do that. Man, my shoes are going to get dirty and I don't know what kind of snakes are in that grass. And that's why I got to run through it. Hello world, my name is Artemis. I don't know if you were able to hear that, but my name is Artemis and I welcome you to this channel. This is a place for anybody looking to reinvent their life. If you're new here, there are a couple of buttons down below. You can subscribe, you can click that bell button. Makes us all happy, right? That's Mount Hermon up there. It's the highest point in all of Israel. See some snow up there. It's, uh, we're in this nature reserve. There's a bunch of birds over here. It's kind of a nice place. How about that view? Isn't that nice? Doesn't that want to just make you subscribe to this channel? I don't know, I'm just saying. This is an amazing place. Come along. Come on, come along. Let's go see this place. You hear that? Birds. Big, huge masses of birds. Different kinds of birds. Big heron type birds and small water wading birds. Those birds. These birds, there's like thousands of them over here. They're, uh, they're making so much noise. This place is huge and you can hear them talking. The birds talk, what do they do? Uh, squawking, you know, you, you can hear their, their screaming for miles. Miles, yeah, I guess we're a couple of miles back. But do you ever wonder how, how much of an effort it takes for a bird to fly through, to cross the continent and to get to where it's going just to go back in the, in the next season? I wonder if the effort that we put into life, I wonder if, if my effort in my own life, my effort with, uh, with the things that I, I want to accomplish, my effort with the family that I, I am in charge of, my effort with my friends and just people around me, I wonder if I'm putting enough work in, if I'm putting enough heart, forget work, if I'm putting enough heart into it. These birds take very long journeys to get where they're going. And you know how they do it. You know how a bird gets from, from here to Africa? One flap of the wings at a time. And we also gotta keep moving forward one step at a time, one act, conscious act towards our goal. It's pretty sweet, right? Now I know it's the most basic tenant of life. Keep one foot in front of the other, right? But somehow we get it wrong. See, we as humans, we're not like the birds. The birds just keep flapping to get to where they're at. We overcomplicate things. We start thinking about the dangers and uh, the risks and the problems. And I'm not saying that it is wrong to plan ahead. In and by itself, we have to make calculations, but don't overthink it. Just keep going, keep moving forward. So I've never run through a field like that. And seeing something like this makes me want to run through it. But my initial decision is, I'm not going to do that, man. My shoes are going to get dirty and I don't know what kind of snakes are in that grass. And that's why I got to run through it. Okay, that wasn't that bad. No snakes, no problems. Shoes, shoes will make it out. If anything, our ability to make calculated decisions should make it easier for us, but it doesn't seem like it does. I mean, think about it. How many of those, uh, of those birds, when they have to fly, they stay back because they think it's not, you know, it's gonna be dangerous, or, they, or because they, they're scared, or because they're tired. I think everybody who can get up in the air, they go. Be like the birds, my friends. Keep flapping away. Hey, you see that sign up there? Bicycles, people, and unicorns? Is that what it says, unicorn? Only in Israel. <laughs> I 
I think I hurt myself on that one. I'm trying to flap my wings and see if I can go anywhere. Problem is, <laughs> the problem is with that theory is that when we, when we try to move forward but we don't know where we're going, we're bound to fail or hurt ourselves. You see those guys over there? It's donkeys. It's like a small group of donkeys. Herd, I don't know. You call them a herd if it's only like five of them? Nice looking donkeys. I may very well be lost at this point. I'm not sure. All I hear is birds and... Oh, I think I see. I hear people now. I think it's that way. 